Good morning. Today we're going to work with um, some cubes and uh, cubed roots. This is almost just like doing uh, multiplication tables. We're just going to be working with some numbers, and instead of squaring them, like 3 to the second power, everything to the third power is called a cube. We're also going to work in reverse and have a number and go back to the original root, which is called a cubed root. So if you look right here before we begin, you can see 3 to the third power. And on the right-hand side, you see that radical symbol, sort of looks like a house, with that little three on the outside and the 1,000 on the inside. That means I'm trying to find a number that when I multiply that number by itself three times, I would get 1,000. That number would be the cubed root. So let's have your notebooks out, take some notes down. You might even want to um, actually write all the numbers from 1 to 10 try to cube them, get the answers, and that will make it easier when you actually go in Yaka Park and solve some of the problems. So here we go. Well, right now we have 2 cubed. Well, 2 cubed is 2 to the third power. And what that really means is 2 times 2 times 2. And the answer is... The answer is not coming up. The answer is supposed to be 8, and there we are. So 2 cubed is 8. It means for the math, 2 times 2 times 2. Well, we could work backwards. Now I'm going to take that 8, and here you see it now inside the radical symbol with the cube on it. I now want to know the cubed root of 8. Well, that means 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2, just like we did it above, and the root well, the root, the cubed root, is 2. 2 is the number that when I multiply it 3 times, is going to give me 8. Again, you could do this with 3 cubed, 4 cubed, etc. So let's try the next page. Okay, well now I have 13 cubed. Well, what that really means, and let me get the pen and start writing, what that would mean, I would be going 13 times 13 times 13. And you can see I did the multiplication work down here. Here's 13 times 13. We have a two-step multiplication problem. Remember, make sure you multiply correctly. We add up to get 169. Well, that's only 13 squared because we did 13 times 13. So to get cubed, I have to take the 169 and multiply it again by 13. And again, we have a two-step multiplication problem. Remember, to making those steps. We add this all up, and we get 2,197. So 13 to the third power, or 13 cubed, is 2,197. Now, I don't think they would actually show this to you for sixth grade. I think you're pretty much going to have to know all the way up to the, to the tens. But if I asked you for the cubed root of 2,197, you could try doing 10 times 10 times 10, and that would be 1,000. So you know that that's too low. So then you could work your way up by maybe trying to do the 11s, the 12s. And when you did do it, and you got to 13, and you said 13 times 13 times 13, you would find out that the cubed root of 2,197 is actually the number 13. That's the cubed root of 2,197. So you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of these now on Yakapaka. Basically, we're going to be going from the 1s to the 10s. So you might even just want to write them out in your journal first so you can actually have it there. So when you see it on the problem, you can go ahead and just put your answers in. It's almost like doing a multiplication table, but we're just working with cubes. So good luck. If you have any questions, send me an email or ask me in class.